Today we're here in the Central Tablelands in New South Wales. My name's Alex and I'm the standalone power systems installer for Wise Energy. We're doing a substantial battery system upgrade for this customer and I'm going to be on the tools today so I'll leave you with Craig to explain everything about it. We're installing the new Solar Store 50. Check it out, what a piece of kit this thing is. In 2020, we contacted WISE and we got a whole heap of solar collectors on the roof. Yes. And so we had um, two big rows of them. I think it's about 11.8 kilowatts or something. And so WISE came and did that and did the installation and worked out what to do and connected it into our home. And then probably about eight months later, we'd saved up enough money to get the battery. Mm -hmm. And so we, but we wanted a Tesla battery. So we said, look, we want a Tesla battery, put the Tesla battery in. And so then, so we've been using that since end of 2020 to now, here we are in 2025. But what we see is we can't store enough to be able to use overnight. And so then we've actually been in conversation with WISE about we think we need to increase our battery storage because we saw that you can only use in the daytime as much as you can store if you're not using it already. And so we then heard about that new battery system rebate that came up, federal government one, and so um, contacted WISE and said, what, what, what would it take to do to our place? So on this particular installation, we originally had a Tesla Powerwall 2 which is approximately 13 kilowatt hours of storage. And that was connected to two uh, red inverters there. So part of this upgrade is we're replacing this old system, keeping what we can and adding a new battery storage system here. So the replacement unit we're putting here is the uh, Solar Store 50. This represents 51.2 kilowatt hours of lithium ferrophosphate storage, as opposed to the original 13 kilowatt hours. So you can see that increases four or five times what it was. We've opted for Victron installation here. Um, so we've got a, a Victron MultiPlus on this side, which is your inverter charger, and that's your solar charge controller. So as part of the upgrade of the system, we've removed one of the uh, red inverters. As you see over here, there was two, and this will now take over and become part of the system, which will be DC coupled solar. So these will be the, the batteries that will go into the solar store cabinet. Each battery is 5.12 kilowatt hours, 5 kilowatt hours roughly, and there's 10 batteries there to give us our 50 kilowatt hour of storage. This particular chemistry of battery, being lithium ferrophosphate or LiFePo4, as people often know it as, um, is a very safe form of lithium, and it does not suffer the thermal runaway issues of the older technology battery systems. The advantage of changing over to a DC coupled solar charge controller as opposed to an AC solar charge controller, they both have their advantages and disadvantages. But let's say, for example, the grid goes out, your battery goes flat, this particular inverter will not start back up. So in the event, as soon as the sun comes back out, 
this one will start back up and start charging your batteries. One of the great features is if your battery comes offline, we'll be able to see it both locally here on the screen and remotely. So we, we can remotely manage the battery system and check out state of charge, voltages, temperatures, etc. Because we live in the country, it actually really works for us to have support at a distance. It's someone who can look remotely and go, oh yeah, it looks like it's all good if we had a question that we could get it solved. And we haven't had any problems, by the way. So for the last five years, so we've we've gone along fine. But it's it's always just that knowledge that we've got the backup. So we, we can have SMS, text messages, email alarms, etc. So if a battery model goes offline, if the inverter goes offline, the solar charge controller goes offline, we can see all of that remotely, dial in and it doesn't matter where we are in the world and we can monitor the system. And the other thing we're going to do ongoingly with WISE is look at how we go this winter with the bigger battery capacity, existing solar that we've got, and see, look, is that, could, could we get more into it? You know, how, how could we maximise what we get for winter? WISE Energy felt it very important to have a modular, changeable system. So that's why we've got solar charge controller on one side, inverter on the other side. Um, and that leads into a, a package that you can chop and change and modify to the customer's requirements. The same with the battery system. You know, this will take up to 10 batteries, but you only need to put five in or four in, whatever your requirements are, we can make that suit. The first system that I installed um, Alex took me downstairs and said, what can we make better? Um, and that's unreal. And that's something, as an installer, I don't have that with the all-in-one systems. I can't make them better because I've got no avenue to go to the manufacturer. So um, that is such a powerful thing that the installer can actually improve these. The great advantage we have is we have a very close relationship with our suppliers and Alex goes to China on a regular basis and physically inspects every single battery before the lid goes on them. We have total quality control over these batteries in our systems. The other really fantastic advantage with our system is if something goes wrong, a battery comes offline, you basically isolate the battery and pull it out and the system will keep running. The same with the Victron components. So very easily changed out if there's a problem. We actually have a great climate a lot of the year. Um, we're not huge power users as it is because of our passive solar design, so the house-wise. So winter is our time when we have more demands on our system. In summertime, we're actually quite comfortable. We, we don't need to be using a whole lot of power, but in winter time, we do need. With this particular property, we've integrated a Victron Energy EV charger. The great feature about this is it can take excess solar when the batteries are full and put it straight into your EV without you having to think about it. There's multiple things that we can put onto this property that will make this customer's life a lot easier. For example, when they're running their bore pump, we can, we can say run that pump and, and fill up their tanks when the system is full and there's excess solar available to them. We can put external sensors on other equipment that will really help these people living the lifestyle that they want with the Wise Energy Solar Store 50. Okay, so as part of removing the power wall too, this piece of safety equipment comes out because it's integrated into our new systems architecture. So the function of that device is effectively disconnects the house from the power lines. So in the event of a blackout, the power wall too wouldn't backfeed back out to the street and you know risk injuring someone. So on this property, as part of the uh, switchboard upgrade, we have to change out all the RCBOs from type AC to type A. Um, that was a, a legislation requirement that came into effect in uh, 2023, I believe. A, an RCB or an RCBO has the trip function on them. So what you're looking for is this little trip feature here. So when you press the button, it will trip out. You'll see that main switches don't have um, the, the safety device for the RC, RCD, so that's basically what they are and it's just a, a legislation requirement that we go from type AC to type A.
particular customer's needs changed, or let's say they sell and they get a large family here and the 50 kilowatt hours is not sufficient, there's nothing stopping us putting a second cabinet in and adding additional batteries and additional inverters and solar charge controllers. Okay, so we've got the finished product standing behind you there. Sue, what do you think? What's, what's been now your experience with the team from WISE? And are you happy with what you've got? I am, it's got 65% battery in the field. And we've got all this versatility. And, you know, as with every project, stuff comes up, it's been solved, and we're just really happy with it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Tools are down. We've uh, finished this installation, but it's going to change their lives significantly. And uh, thanks for watching.